My name's Lizzie Holmes. I was at Frenchton from 2000 to 2007. I'm an opera singer and I'm also a creative entrepreneur. I think I'm lucky that I went to Frenchton. It's, uh, it's infused all aspects of my life since. I've got girlfriends who I'm still in touch with who inspire me from there. I bring all of those kind of core qualities that Frenchman inspires in people to my work. I think um, creativity, compassion, um, and commitment are three things that I really learned from Frenchman. The main aspects of Frenchman that I liked best, I think, was the real mixture between the creative and the academic. I did um, English and theatre for A-levels, and then economics, and it's it's that combination that has fed into my career and how I present myself now. One of the greatest things about French for me is the emphasis on your work, your self-agency, that it's um, down to you, you can create any society you want to. If you pull the people together, you can set it up and, and to then go into a career where if I don't put in the work, I won't have a career. As a freelancer, it's it's the only way you get jobs. So that um, hard work and creative thinking, thinking outside the box is something that Frenchman inspires in people. At age 16, I climbed Kilimanjaro and then we took a production up to the Edinburgh Fringe. And that summer kind of encompassed everything that those clubs and societies can enable you to do. You kind of selling ice creams for two pounds to raise money for World Challenge and then going out and flyering and meeting people and it's that, I guess, inbuilt confidence that Frenchman helps you have. At Frenchman I always wanted to be a performer but I went and studied an academic undergrad because I loved reading so I did English at Warwick and I wanted a career in the performing arts but I don't think you can have any idea where you're going to end up. I went and did a, a career talk back at Frenchham a couple of months ago and, and one of the biggest things I was trying to say to, or share with people was that everything you do at Frenchham will feed into who you are, especially as a performer or as an entrepreneur. No one can recreate who you are, so go and climb Kilimanjaro, and go to the Fringe, go and do hockey and do all those extra things, show people around the school and it's those skills that come together that then make you, you. So to my younger Lizzie self I'd say don't let your friends cut your hair and dye it in horrible colours and that I, this ridiculous statistic I think it's something like 94% of people by the age of 24 have decided they want to change their career so embrace what you're good at and what you enjoy and what makes you a better person. And I think then the path will open out of what you should be doing. And work experience or clubs that you don't think have any connection can sometimes open those doors. Old friend Shami and girlfriend. Funny you should mention it. La da da da. <laughs> so um, I was getting ready for this interview this morning and I, I looked at these girlfriends. I have my, my five girlies, we used to call it, and that I've, they're my greatest friends for life. And they'll be my friends until I pop my clogs. And they are inspiring women. Three of them have gone on and set up their own businesses. One's a, one in the tech industry, one in consulting, and their mind's in opera. So you have all these um, different influences in my life. The biggest thing with Frenchham and the relationship with teachers is that then they're not just a teacher and you have a respect for them that you don't want to let them down. That's one of the, the most unique things about Frenchham, I think, and it gives you the space to feel more grown up and to treat teachers as equals that you want to support. I think an education would be missing something if you didn't have the arts and the sciences or the academic. How can you how can you creatively think in economics about how to solve a problem if 
you haven't been able to explore that through through theatre or through English and how in then the creative world could you think about solving problems in other ways about trying to finance your theatre company to go and do a big show on the West End or do a big tour. I think um, you have to have that, that mix of arts and academics and the greatest, the greatest brains enjoy both I think and, and find harmony with them. There's no, there's no battle between them. There's no battle between the arts and sciences, and French and really embraces that. And it says you can you can do both. You can do economics and you can do drama in the same day. You can do music and then you can do maths and in, with equal integrity. Just because you're brilliant at one doesn't mean you have to be rubbish at the other. You can be brilliant at both. <laughs>